Welcome to Spice and Pens. Subscribe to our channel for our recipes weekly. Today we are cooking braised pig stomach with mushroom and sea cucumber. Let's start cooking. In a hot pan, add in oil. Coat the pan well. I'm using a cast iron wok here because I'm going to braise the pig stomach. That will take a while, about 40 to 60 minutes for the pig stomach to be tender. You'll add in the aromatics now. One piece of cinnamon bark, one piece of star anise, one teaspoon of white peppercorn, one whole cup of garlic with the skin on, a thumb-sized ginger, which I've smashed a little. Fry them up well until you can smell them. This will just take a minute or two. When the fragrance is out, pour in 50 ml of chicken stock and I've added in another 200 ml of the water that I soaked the mushroom in. Add in 1 tablespoon of light soy sauce, 1 tablespoon of oyster sauce, 2 tablespoons of Chinese rice wine. Put the cover on and wait for it to boil. Once the stock is boiling, add in the pig stomach. I've already cleaned this. If you want to know how to clean this, please search on YouTube for Spice and Pants Pig Stomach. Put this in. I've also hydrated 4 giant mushrooms. If you have smaller mushroom, you can use 6 to 8 of them. Okay, these are pretty big actually if you were to compare my hand with this beautiful mushroom. Okay, I'm just going to put all this in. And we're going to braise this for an hour. On the 30 minutes mark, I will turn the stomach on the other side. One hour is up, let's have a look. It smells fantastic. Now along the way, I've added in one and a half cup of water. Because once the liquid is drying, you just add in more liquid to it only. So I'm going to turn off the fire right now and I'm going to take out the mushrooms as well as the pig stomach. I'm going to strain off this sauce also. This sauce I'll be using them later as a sauce to pour over this beautiful dish. I'm just going to strain this and keep the sauce because we'll be using this to pour over the beautiful dish that we'll be cooking today. The rest of all this, you can actually just dump them away. Now if you want to add more flavor to this stock, I'll just put another two pieces of this, uh, two to three pieces of this garlic over here. I'm going to mash them over this thing and then force the flesh down. So what you got to do is just mash it out a little bit. Okay. Just give them an additional flavor to this dish. And we are done. Next what we will do, we will blanch 150 grams of this long cabbage. I've added a little bit of salt inside here because I want to retain the freshness look of the vegetable and make sure that the water is boiling before you put the veg in. You don't have to cook this for too long, just soften it up because we'll be steaming this later. Next, I'm going to blanch some broccoli also. I'm not going to steam this, I'm just using this for garnishing. Just make sure it's cooked to your preferred doneness. For us, this will be okay. Next, I'm going to cut the pig stomach as well as the mushroom because I need to lay them out and steam them again. Now, in case you're wondering why I'm doing this on top of my stove, it's because it's raining right now and it's pretty dark and I want you to have a clear picture of what I'm doing. So now we're cutting it. First, I'll let you cut it in half first. And slice them. Now, this is an excellent dish for Chinese New Year and I hope you'll be doing this as one of your Chinese New Year dish. This, this is too long for you to cut it. Just slice off part of it here first. And then just cut it again. Same thing I'll do with the mushroom. Except that I'll leave one piece whole as a base. So they will look nicer in presentation. So I'm just going to cut this beautiful mushroom up. Now this mushroom I'm using over here, these are considered the big giant type. These are more costly as compared to those smaller chi Chinese uh, mushrooms. These are actually from Japan. Right? Beautiful, very fleshy kind of mushroom. 
I think for Chinese New Year it's good to spend a little bit more just to make the family happy. Once you have yes. start finish cutting them, you assemble them into a small bowl like this so that you can use them for steaming. Now I'm going to assemble this bowl. Put in the mushroom first. Mushroom. The pig stomach. You can do it however way you want it to be. This is how I like it to be done. So it looks much better when it's out on the plate. The excess one you can just lay them down. We're going to top up this up with the bok choy that we have just blanched just now. We're going to steam this for another 20 to 30 minutes. And then we'll do the sauce and this dish will be done. Time to steam this. Once the water starts to boil, steam this for half an hour. 30 minutes is up. Let's have a look. Beautiful. Turn off the flame. We'll take this out and then we'll prepare the sauce. In a heater pan, pour in the sauce. I've also drained out the water from the bowl that we steamed just now and add them to this liquid. Inside this beautiful sauce, I'm going to add in one sea cucumber cut into pieces like this. Now just close the lid back on and let it boil for 10 minutes. If you bought those dried sea cucumber, you don't need to soak them inside water without any touching any oil, otherwise it won't expand. You need to soak them for at least two days or so. Put them inside the fridge and frequently you need to change the water. But I bought the fresh one from uh, market, so I can just uh, put it inside here and then just cook them for 10 minutes or just warm them up. This has been boiling for 10 minutes already. Let's have a look. Now I let my sauce darker. I'm going to put in half a tablespoon of uh, dark soya sauce. To balance up the taste, I'm going to add in half a teaspoon of sugar. And the last thing to do right now is to thicken up this beautiful sauce. As you can see, it coats this very easily. I'm just going to add a little bit more. Okay, the sauce is done. We'll pour this over the mushroom and the pig stomach. And ladies and gentlemen, this is how we cook our braised pig stomach with mushroom and sea cucumber. This is an excellent dish for Chinese New Year. I hope you replicate this dish at home. Thank you for watching. Do click like on our video and do subscribe to our channel. Fung Hei Fa Choi. Happy New Year!